Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a continuation of previous video. For greedy best first search algorithm BFS DFS, it can refer my previous videos. Today we are going to discuss about A star algorithm. In A star, the function f of n is equal to g of n plus h of x. So this h of x is nothing but the heuristic values. Okay. So what you have to do given a graph like this, okay, state space graph, and given the nodes that is we have S, A, B, C, D, G and each node has some heuristic value. So for S it is 5, for A it is 3 and for B it is 4, C it is 2, D is 6 and G is 0. So here initially our start state, our start state is what here now? It is yes. So S is our start state. So here F of N is equal to what? G of N plus H of X you should write. Now S to A. Now S is the starting node and A is the first node it is reaching. reaching. From S it can reach A and it can reach G. Okay. And in this problem, heuristic value G is 0. If heuristic value is 0 means that is only the goal node. So from this we can make out G is our goal node here. G is only is our goal node. So now from S, what are the nodes you can reach? You can reach A and you can reach G. First I am finding for S of A. For S of A, function f of n is equal to what? G of A plus H of A. What is the heuristic value of A? So, here G of A value. So, the G of A value is what here? The path cost here. The path cost here for it is 1 plus H of A. A's heuristic value is how much? 3. So, you add that 3 now here. So, add this G of A plus H of A, you will get it as 4. Similarly, from S to G, you compute what is the path cost into heuristic value of uh, path cost plus the heuristic value of G. So, here G of N here, the path cost is what here? 10. Okay. Plus what is the heuristic value of G given here? It is 0. So, write that 0 here. Now, here compare both these functions F of N from S to A and S to G, whichever has having the minimum value, that one you should consider for expansion. Here you have 4 and here you have 10. So keep this on hold. Don't select. And select this path. Because there are many routes to reach from starting node to the goal node. We have to choose the minimum best one. So here it is 4 now. That is from S to A. From S to A to reach G. See you have many paths. From S to A you can go to B, B to D and D to G. Or A to C and C to G or from S to G which is having minimum path cost that one we have to select. So that is the reason we are keeping this path in hold and we are selecting now this S to A. Now similarly from A from S to A from S to A you can reach B and you can reach C. The same way compute the function F of N from S of A of B that is from S of A of B is equal to what? From S to A already we have computed. Now from A to B. Okay. From S to A it is what is the path cost here? 1. And from A to B what is the path cost here? 2. So we added here 1 plus 2 plus. For B alone you take the heuristic value. For this node B what is the heuristic value? 4. So add that 4 here guys. So it becomes what now? 7. Similarly, from S to A to C you compute. From S to A to C. What is the path cost? From S to A it is 1. A to C it is 1. 1 plus 1 plus C. C's heuristic value is what? 2. So, that's what we have written here. From S to A to C. 1 plus 1 plus 2. So, you will get what here? 4. So, now in these two, which is minimum. Okay, you have to identify which is minimum. Here it is 7 and it is 4. You choose this path now. Keep this on hold. S to A to C is minimum. From S to A to C. Now you can reach D and you can reach G. You can reach D and you can reach G. In this which is the minimum we have to identify. Now S to A to C to D. Now see S to A it is 1. 1 plus 1 to C it is 2. And from C to G. Sorry from C to D. Here the cost is what here from... Uh, C to D it is 3. This is 3 here. And what is the heuristic value of D here guys? Heuristic value of D is 6 here. So that's what we added here. 
1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6 which is 11. Similarly, now identify from S to A to C to G. So, it is 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus heuristic value of G is what? 0. So, 4, 5, 6 plus 0. So, here see 6 plus 0 is you will get 6 only. So, in this which is minimum here guys. Now, here it is 6 is the minimum. Now, if you see here from S to A to C to G, this is 6. Okay. But the same thing we kept here, one, one more thing on hold here. Okay, we, we have kept this on hold, the starting. That is F2, S2, G we kept in hold. What is its cost now here? 10. So, from this 10 and 6, which is minimum here, 6 is minimum here. Similarly, if you observe here S2, A to B. S2, A to B we, we discarded. Why? Because G is not the goal. We have reached the goal state now here. We have put it on hold. In this which is minimum. Now from this S to G and this S to G which is minimum. Here it is 10 and here it is 6. So we have choose to we have to choose this path only. S to A to C to G. So which gives you the minimum path cost. So this is called as the greedy best first search algorithm. It's a very important algorithm for the external exam. Hope you have understood. We will go for one more problem here. See here. So, here the path cost and the heuristic values are given. Instead of giving separately the heuristic values, the heuristic values are written above the node. So, heuristic value for A is 10.1, for D it is 9.2 and for S it is 11.5 and for E it is 7.1. Similarly, here G, heuristic value is 0. Heuristic value is 0 means this is what our goal node is. Start like how we did in the previous problem. So, from S you can reach A and you can reach D. So, from S to A and S to D. See, this is arrow is like this now. Don't consider this. Okay. So, now S to A. What is the path cost given? 3. So, 3 plus the heuristic value is what? 10.1. 3 plus 10.1, it is 13.1. From S to D, if you observe, it is 4 plus 9.2. 4 plus 9.2, it is 13.2. And similarly, now you observe S to A to B. And S to A to D, you have two paths here. This is one path. Okay. S to A to D. Now you take here S to A to B. That is 3 plus 4 plus this heuristic value 5.8. 3 plus 4 plus 5.8. Similarly, S to A to D, it is 3 plus 5 plus 9.2. It's heuristic value. So you will get 17.2 here. So, next again from here you observe you can reach S2, A to D to E and S2, A to B to C. Okay. Now, the same way you compute. So, here these two if you compute the same way 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3.4 this node you should take. And for this one now here it is 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7.1. So, this is 19.1 and this is 14.4. So, in this now it is uh, which is minimum here. This is no, ch there is no children to expand here. So, what we have to do? So, go back to the parent that is select S2 A to D that is 17.2. Then select its parent that is S2 0. It means we are going to backtrack now here. So, here S2 see what you are having 14.4 and here S2 uh, E what you are having 19.1. So, in this which is minimum here, 14.4 is minimum. But if you see here C, from C there is no other nodes here. C is the last node here. So, we have to backtrack. We have to go back now here. S2, S2, D2, A. So, I have to backtrack now here because I do no further node for me here to reach this one. So, I, I have to backtrack now here. So, next node what I have here is what? S2, D2, S2. S2, D2, A. I am going in another path now instead of coming S2, A to D. Now I am checking for S2, D, S2, D, D2, A and S2, D and D2, E. Now this path. Like this now we are checking. Okay. S2, D2, A and S2, D2, E. What you are going to get here? 4 plus 5 plus 7.1. 4 plus 5 plus 10.1. So, just substitute here this 10.1 and 7.1. So, 
so here you have 19.1 and here you have 16.1 so here the minimum is what here so minimum is this 16.1 s2d2e so now you can expand e here okay why we have backtracked because we cannot expand c here that is the reason we have backtracked from c to b b to a we have backtracked and again from yes we are starting we are starting from the another root so now s2 d2 e so s2 d2 e from e you can reach b and you can reach f see from e you can reach b and you can reach f so take these two now here so from e to f and e to b so here e to f and b to b if you see you have 19.8 here and 16.5 so choose this 16.5 here so that is e to f from f again you can reach from f you can reach g okay so here 4 plus 5 plus uh, this one 4 plus 3.5 plus 0 so that's what we have written here okay s2 d2 g so here it is what 16.5 and uh, so here this is what the minimum you can reach this goal node g from f to g you have only one path so this is what our solution is so you got a solution so what it is s2 d2 e2 f2 g so the answer is what 16.5 so this is the path cost so this is how we compute so here this greedy best for search algorithm also supports backtracking so that's what we have done at the node c okay because whatever we have taken was not yielding the solution so we backtracked came back to the starting node again from starting we started computing the new path to find the solution so hope you have understood Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.